Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, after William Ruto proceeded to form a government of a broad based government, there are two camps that emerged because he had now to involve opposition into the government. Close to four, is it five or six lots? They were given to ODM, including the Antony General. And then the two camps that emerged is one, Gashagwa camp, which comprised of the people who do not, did not want the broad-based government. They never embraced it, but they are not talking about it. In silence, they don't embrace it. But they come here on their lips, they seem to be embracing. So you can read their mind. The other camp is the opposition and the loyal UDA um, team that still uh, defend William Samway Ruto. So we are having two teams, the Ruto team and the Gashagwas team. With this, we have heard some noise. Kimani Chumba and the team, then the other guys from Nyeri, the senator and the team who support Rigadi Gashagwa. So, at the first place, Gashagwa said that he had put traps in the state house and no one can enter state house. His focus was on Raila Odinga that that Muse will not enter state house because I have put traps. Or if he will attempt to go to state house, I will have a war with the president, William Samway Ruto. That was the shakwa. Na mimi na nimepanga, unajua ene mutu ya kutumia jie ya katokando. Pale ikulu, nimeeka miteko kila pahali, akionekana ananaso. Kwa sababu sasa, tukumukubari ya taribu. Na huyu mzee akipitia jia ya kando, akuje, aigie kwa handshake, aharibu serikali yetu, mutu ya kuulizo ni mimi. Kwa hivi yo mimi nitahakikisha. Kwa hivyo rais kama unaweza kuwa na mipango kama hiyo, utakuwa tayari kubabana na mimi. Siwezi kubali. Now, after the Shagwa was hit with the reality, yesterday he came out with another statement, and in his view, he believed that the government is big, it can accommodate everyone. And therefore, the other people from opposition and everyone is welcomed in the government. Such that, if there will be success, they are all going to take credit. And if there's going to be a blame in equal uh, measures, they also take responsibility. But he went further to uh, chiefly talk about the, you know, the people who have come in the government. That the Arrangement is that once you come to the government and you find someone is sitting on a seat, you don't force the person to stand up so that you sit. The rule is that you stand. Or those who are willing to stand for others, they should do. But for him, he said that he will not stand for anyone for his so that someone will sit on his seat. He's going to sit there. That is his remarks. So he's accepting people to enter state house. Traps are not there. But secondly, which is the main point, he will not stand for anyone to sit on his seat. Who is the Shagwa communicating to? Tulikubali wale walikuja tusaidiane. Let everybody come. We cast in the mingi. We Kenya ni yet. We are okay. Let everybody come. Achangie baali ataweza. Kila mtu waleta ujuzu wake. Wale wamekuja, kutoka UDM, wakuje, waleta ya kilizao, tuongeza na ile yetu, tutafute average, Kenya isonge mbele. Sindiyo? Hei, nakuna shita. So, sasa baali Kenya imefika, inataka kila mtu wachangie. So that nobody is blaming the other. You know? Najua wakini walikuwa na fikiria timina esa pinga. Nini pinga nini? Mimi nasema, hii Kenya ni yetu, na tunataka ifaudu. President kwa marifa yake kwa ujuzi wake na uongozi wake akaona wacha tulete hawa tusaidiane na hawa nikamwambia rais wa kuchi tuketi tupange badi yako pale national treasury tusaidiane upio ndai yako pale mambo ya stima tusaidiane joho wako pale mambo ya blue economy tusaidiane 
Oparanya akuje mambo ya kahawa Mambo ya hasula fan Tusaidiane Kila mutu achangie So that we all succeed together And if there is a blame We also share eh? Si itakuwa na muna hiyo eh, So tusaidiane So wakuje Hata wale wako inje bado kuja They are welcome Wakuje <laughs> tufanye pamoja Eh Mida tulisema tu mtu wa siketi pali mungine ya meke Si hiyo tu <laughs> Sunajua hata kwa nyumba ukiingia Uwezi kalia hile kiti mekaliwa Unatafuta hile Na ukuta sote si mekaliwa si unasimama e, Na kuwana muna hiyo Bora hakuna mtu wa siketi pali mungine ya meke There is no problem Ama wewe sudi wewe kisikia utamuka yako mungine ya keti Unamuka anaketi Lakini mwisi ya muki mine meketi <laughs> Kila mutu tufanye There is no problem Provided kila mutu alete suduhisho Alete maarifa Tusaidiane Kenya yetu yende bere Now as we continue with this final discussion Just a quick request for those who are watching And you have not yet subscribed Please consider subscribing To our return subscribers I must say thank you so much And again to all our viewers Please give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, you listen to Gashagwa's last statement. He said that the rules is that somebody should not sit where the other person is already sitting. That there is no problem as long as no one is sitting on his chair. You are all welcome to the government. And there is no problem as long as you're not sitting on my chair. But there will be a problem if you attempt to do so. So he's saying that I am going nowhere. That is the statement from Rikata Gashagwa in all the story that he's giving. At first place, we can say that politicians can never be trusted. Especially the people working under William Root. Because for us to trust Rikata Gashagwa, he should have gone further, you know, to reject the involvement of opposition people into the government. Because at the first place he said that he has put troops at State House, saying that no one from opposition, should enter the government. So we can say that Politicians can never be trusted because now Gashagwa has been forced to change his statement. Now he's embracing people who came from opposition. But before he was clear, they are not welcomed to the government. The traps were there. What was the meaning of the traps? That whoever attempts to enter, he should be Gwendani Amuteko. But now, he is embracing everyone. Though what he's saying there also is clear that we will all take responsibility anywhere we have scored. But in equal measures also, we all take responsibility where we have failed. So we But the message here is to William Ruto and his allies. For those who have been listening to the statement from Kimani Shungwa, he's a kind of attacking Gashagwa. And the end game is about having Gashagwa out of the government. They don't want Gashagwa there. So they come out with a statement that will anger Gashagwa to walk away from the government. The script is from State House. And the assignment has been given to Kimani Chungwa and the other allies. Kimani being the leader of that. So the Shagwa is communicating back to them. I'm going nowhere. I'm here to stay. And no one will sit on my, my chair. So the Shagwa has declared war. He is going to fight to the end to ensure that no one will sit where he should be sitting. 
He's saying so because his position is protected in the Constitution of Kenya. The deputy president ran on the same ticket with the presidential candidate as a running mate. Therefore, in that arrangement, he was voted for to the position that he's holding to. So no one can remove him from that position unless it is an impeachment. But you see, when the president wanted to change his cabinet, he simply fired everyone. That was final. And formed another cabinet. But for Gashaka, you can't fire him in that way. That is why he has the audacity to speak the way he is speaking today. Gashaka will also be reacting to the sentiment that we have heard from leaders from Mount Kenya East. There's a group of leaders led by Honorable Ruku who are now claiming that Mount Kenya East want to forge their path away from Mount Kenya West because they feel like wamenyanyaso kwa muda mrefu sana that they come together and the biggest sole beneficiary remain to be Mount Kenya West so going forward they want to declare their own region as Mount Kenya East and have a leadership that will take them to higher leadership so that man they have uh, uh, identified is none other than the CS for Antigua, Kithure Kindiki. And as I end my report, come on, I'm to me, Kithure Kindiki, come to talk on a fasiake, Hayuko Tiare, Naita with the Kana. So he's also reacting to that. That's why he's saying that, Mutu Akuja too, like in the Mutu Askale Kitia Mutu Mengin. On a Jua, the Watu or ODM sit our partner first. Kuna watu wanisimamishwa ndio hao wakuja wakae kwa hizo biti. Lakini kashaka anasema usimamishwe mtu ndio mwingine akae. Tayari washasimamishwa. Paka na watu wake wa Mount Kenya kadha. They lost around is it two or three slots for ODM to be accommodated. Kuna watu wanisimamishwa. Kwa vita ambazo walikuwa wameka. So for kashaka is a no Hakuna mtu asimamisha kai kwa kiti yenye ye ako. So, we will continue to see this kind of um, statement. Zile zinatoka kwa Gashagwa na William Ruto. But the reality here is that two camps have emerged. The Ruto camp and the Gashagwa's camp. Sasa hizi ni zao. Lakini wajue wa Kenya, wako hapa, GNZ have spoken. They neither want William Ruto nor Gashagwa. Ata Raila Odinga, hawa watu hawa, yani they are not going to be embraced by the youth. So they should know in all the arrangements they are doing that people are here ready to discipline them. They are not interested in any arrangement they are having going forward. I don't know your views, but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.